Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're going to be doing a taste test for Nespresso's new La Complida Refinada. After the taste test, we're going to follow up with an iced latte, just a simple drink, so we can see if this is going to be our new summer favorite. Let's get to tasting. <laughs> guys don't forget like comment subscribe down below show your girl some love you guys can also find me over on instagram at maison molly i'd love to connect with you guys there we do have a lot of fun and i do ask you guys a lot of questions about what you want to see here on the channel so if you're interested in our nespresso party go ahead and follow me right here let's hop into this new capsule Okay, friends, so Nespresso has done it. They've gone ahead and they've granted us our wish, and we've gotten another double espresso pod in La Complida Refinada. Now, let me say my Spanish isn't the best, so I want to give a shout out to my girl, Callie Patty. Um, I posted on my Instagram yesterday, like, I don't know how to say this, and she sent me a voice note, and I practiced a little bit, and, and this is the best that I can do. But um, thank you for that, Patty. With that being said, let's hop into this pod. Again, as I was saying, it's only the fourth double espresso pod currently in the Nespresso line for Fertuo. Um, as we all know, Bianca Leggero is currently sold out, so I'm hoping that we will really like this one so it can kind of help to balance out that tension. Um, let's go ahead and pop this on open. So of course, just to show you guys, this is the box that it comes in. This is what it looks like. Right there, it's gonna say the name. This pod does come from Nicaragua. Um, it is a double espresso shot, so it's a 2.7 ounce pod. This pod is a part of the Master Origins collection. Um, since it is from Nicaragua, and that is why it's a little bit pricier than the other double espresso pods. This one, a sleeve is going to be $12, opposed to the regular $10 that you would pay for um, double espresso Chiaro, or that you would pay for like a Bianca Leggero. So guys, I've got everything all set up. As you guys can see, I've got my new machine. So super excited about that. Um, if you guys want to know what happens to my last machine, you can find that video right here. Also, I always say this, if you guys are interested in my pod holder, I've got it linked down below in my Amazon store. Um, but I just got this new coffee mug, a part of the Nespresso 25% off accessory sale. Um, it's the Grand Longo Cups, which is like the last one that I'm missing in my collection. So happy to have that. I think it'll be perfect to brew this double espresso pod in and then add some milk after. So let's go ahead and test this on out and uh, see what we think. Perfect, it's all brewed up. Let's go ahead and do a taste test. So I grabbed one of my spoons. Um, let's smell it first. So it definitely does smell fruity. It reminds me a lot of Peru, honestly. I won't say that I smell pomegranate, but it definitely smells fruity. We're gonna taste a little bit of our crema. I like it, it's pretty mild. I actually really like that. <laughs> yeah, definitely fruity flavor to it, really mild. It's not like when I taste crema on Diavoletto and it like, kind of gives you a punch, nothing like that. 
Let's push the crema aside and taste the coffee. I like it. For an intensity of four, it's got quite a little kick to it. I would say I definitely taste the cherry. Growing up in Guyana, we had cherries and they're different from American cherries. They're different um, because they're a little bit more kind of like a soury kind of fruit and that's what I'm getting from this. Definitely fruity though, like definitely fruity. I like it so far. Let's go ahead and add some milk and see what we think. Already got some milk foamed on up. Let's go ahead and add it to our cup. Whoa. <laughs> I guess now we do have um, a latte because we've got milk and we've got some foam with our double shot. Uh, let's try this out. Hold on. A little stir. So this is perfect. This cup is perfect for a double shot with some milk. Let's try it out. It's nice, guys. Go add it to your cart. Mmm. <laughs> Guys, you guys got to get this. You got to try it. It's limited edition. Buy a few boxes. Um, because what I love about this one is sometimes when you add milk, the flavor and the taste of the coffee kind of escapes. It gets too milky. The milk definitely brings out the fruitiness in the coffee. You can taste it. It's still there. It's still fruity. I like this one. And I think this will, actually, it's really nice warm. I like it this way. Um, unlike Peru, I don't really always like it warm. But um, iced Peru is perfect. This guy, you can definitely have it warm. It tastes lovely this way. I'm actually quite enjoying it. It's really smooth, but then there's that like after cake of fruit. Very nice. But I bet this would make an excellent um, iced drink as well. So all of you Bianca and Cheryl guys who are worrying that it's sold out, I think this will be a great substitute for you guys. Of course, it's different. Like Bianca and Cheryl is definitely sweeter, more biscuity. But this one, I think with like a little bit of syrup and the fruity flavor will be lovely. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. I'm definitely finishing it. And then um, we'll go ahead and make an iced latte. So you guys know vanilla iced latte is super easy. All we're gonna be using is my Bodum glass. Um, you can find this glass in the description down below in my Amazon store, some ice. Of course, we're gonna be using the new pod right here, uh, some vanilla syrup and some milk of your choice. I've already got my um, coffee brewed, my espresso shot brewed, and I've already got the milk in here. So honestly, just gonna go ahead and do um, two pumps of vanilla. One, two. And I find that I like to sometimes put it in the arachino because it blends together nicely with the milk. And then, because sometimes when you don't do that, you end up having syrup at the bottom of your glass and then you're just like sucking up all of this sweetness. So um, yeah, I put it in with the arachino. We're gonna do this milk on iced cold setting and let's get started. Don't judge me. I don't know where the um, arachino top is right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and use this. But yeah, that's on the iced setting. Let's get that going. When it is done, we are gonna pour it into our glass, then our shot, and we're good to go. Easy peasy. So it looks like our milk is all done. So I'm just gonna take that off the arachino, pour it into our glass. Ooh, look at that, yummy goodness. And we're gonna leave enough space 
for our espresso, double espresso shot. So let's take that and pour it on in. Uh-oh, spill, spill. I got it. Not so bad. Yikes. Probably add a little bit more milk. All right, there we go. All set, easy latte, you know, nothing crazy. Let's uh, taste this and see what we think. Alrighty friends, so here we have it, our iced latte with the new La Complida Refinada pod. Um, let's try it on out, see what we think. Give it a little mix up. Mm -hmm. Here goes. So I'm still trying to figure it out though. That's why I keep sipping. It definitely tastes completely different iced as it does hot. I feel like hot, you can taste the fruity notes. There's like that little after kick um, that's really delicious and fruity and fun. Um, in the iced latte, it's different. It's hard for me to explain different how, but it's different. Um, but I do like it. It's really smooth, easy to drink. I guess you can taste the fruitiness on the back end, but it's a lot softer than it was in the hot version. I think you guys, honestly, who are missing Bianca Leggero, you're really going to like this one. Um... I would say give it a try. If I had to score it like scale one to 10, I would give this one a solid. Okay, hot, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I actually loved it hot. And as an ice drink, I would give it a cool eight out of 10, which isn't bad at all. Like it's really nice ice and I think it'll be a good substitute um, for you guys who really love Bianca Leggero. So um, I'm definitely going to go back to the store and grab a sleeve or two um, just because I do like it and I think that it's a really nice option for a double espresso. Yeah, you can definitely taste the fruity. It's really pretty. It's nice. As always, guys, thank you for stopping by Maison Molly. It's always my pleasure to have you guys here. Drop it in the comments down below. Let me know, have you tried this new pod yet? If you haven't, do you plan on buying it? Um, I think you guys would really enjoy it, so I say go for it. Uh, thank you guys always for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.